um, back to another um, platform, virtual platform, uh, podcast, interview, slash interview. And today we'll be talking about an, uh, an event and an individual that is doing a great work and with his experience and his, um, his tenacity and love for reggae music and its culture. And also, being a Jamaican, that makes him very, gives him a, a, a significant part into the whole fabric of reggae music. And with that said, the brother is no other than Neville Hamilton out of Canada. So we are talking about an individual who was, who is a Jamaican and migrated to Canada and along with his migration brought his talent and music to bear in the North American hemisphere of, you know, the upper regions of, of Canada, Winnipeg, Manitoba area and has established roots um, and broadcast the music in such a way that he's been recognized by the government and the government is also um, of that region is participating with him in bringing reggae music to the forefront and at the same time you know there are, there are challenges that lies ahead and challenges that he's dealing with and because also the demographics there make it a little bit challenging but with all that being said you know black history is here to support black artists black talent and uh, you know the whole you know black culture in general as long as it's it's positive it's um educational it's motivational that's what we are that's what we we we, we take pride and um that's our uh motive in, in in doing what we do so at this time i'm going to introduce mr neville and with that said mr neville's organization which is the founder is a of iral which is the international reggae afro latin music and artists um festival that's the that's the the the, the, the event but you know iral is international reggae afro latin music and so therefore i'm gonna let him tell us a little bit about himself and bring his expert knowledge of what he's doing and um you know bring that to you as the audience who is listening are viewing this on whether it is uh, facebook youtube um, any of the social media platform that is there so at this time i'm going to open the um the floor and welcome um mr neville hamilton um to the uh to the studio and to you all neville go ahead and tell the audience a little about yourself and we'll start about you in person and your upbringing and that 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 keep the, the love and your passion for the music alive well thank you very much for having me owen on your radio station here and all the the, the black international radio community entertainment rather um, community i just want to big you all up today and um i'm so happy to be a part of this to uh, this morning and to express to you what we are doing on this side of the world right mm -hmm. a lot of people when when you say winnipeg they 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 almost think uh, where is that you know and it's a <laughs> right it's a place where we city where, 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 yeah, exactly you know it's a place where we experience extreme winter and also extreme summer heat so we on this side when we get to our summer we, we we really want to make the best of it and what best way to spend summer than to spend it with some reggae music and some reggae people from some Definitely. of the caribbean and the black people so can heat up the place right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah you know you know our music is is, is international 
right? So right. It, the International Reggae Afro Latin Music Arts Festival, IRL, was created because we saw that there was a need, right, to, mm -hmm. to, 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 to lift the underdeserved people like ourselves, right? And on okay. this side of the world, there's not much of that happening. So we decided that we will make, I'll tell you a little bit more about it as we go along. Right. But about me, I'm from Jamaica. I was born in Jamaica. I moved here, uh, well, 11 years coming now, pretty mm -hmm. much from Jamaica. Mm -hmm. And um, I, back in Jamaica, I always played play music. From I was like 13, I was involved in playing right. music and stuff. And I also start, started a, a, a bunch of little bands and also mm. uh, lots of groups, uh, young kids that went through, in my hand, so to speak. Yeah. And, and move on now to the, today playing international uh internationally for different bands also okay so, okay yes i'm really happy to you know express that part so it's something that i was always a part of you know the right. development of of uh musicians mm. especially so what instrument do you play well you know honestly our instruments <laughs> but yes i am a i'm a bass fan you know jamaica reggae music or jamaica all about music. the bass <laughs> all about the bass so that's where i started yeah. right at the heartbeat right okay, okay, so okay. um i also play the keyboards uh, a bit of drums and the, mm -hmm. the, the the guitars as well so this okay. is what helped me to actually pass some of my knowledge to um the other um youngsters that were around me in jamaica and and and, and growing up with as well you know okay yeah. so were you were you were you introduced to music um from a, a, a school you know training like was was it the part of your curriculum in school and you and you and you did music as a as a as a curricular activity well in school we have music programs in jamaica you know that but it, yes. it doesn't it doesn't quite go anywhere really honestly mm -hmm. but i uh my my mom sent me and dad sent me to uh piano piano lessons from from like 12 13 there okay. and that's where it started and i I, I, I grew up playing. Believe this. I grew up playing church, mm -hmm. right? So that's important because um, church, Jamaican church, teaches teaches you how to be spiritually connected with your music, right? Definitely, and, definitely. And and your expression is different from just all the other people who just go to school to learn music, right? Right. right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And 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 that's kind of where my 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 most of my training was, um, or my expression, so to speak as okay. a child coming up right, right? but um as i grow older now i i begin to play in different events weddings um mm -hmm. big concerts and all of that stuff and before long we were getting quite to be the quite the band in in those days back okay. there right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so, so. It, it, you know it reminds me of me a little bit except i didn't follow through on the on the passion for the instruments you know i i, I played guitar you know, at an early age, but you know, I had, a, I had an instructor that actually turned me off because he's one of those instructors that, you know, wanna hit you for everything, every mistake oh, you man. make. You know, what oh. I'm saying? <laughs> you're gonna get the ruler, you're gonna get something <laughs> coming towards you. You know, so that yeah. that was a negative for me. So as soon as I could get out of that situation, right. I dropped that and take off. You know, what I'm saying? so I left all the instruments behind. I said it's easier for me to listen to music than than to play it. <laughs> You know, so, let's pay, let's pay for you. Let's be in for me, man. So, so, so more power to you by sticking with it. You know. Yeah, thank you. Um, so I understand that, um, Ira, your organization, you are the CEO, you are the founder, you are the person that actually orchestrate and initiate most of the movement and the production for um your programming and events now you know you have this large festival coming up which is the uh the music and arts festival that you know um showcases a number of um artists cultures in terms of arts after you know and um it's gonna be huge for you so i i want you to i want you to tell the audience a little bit about you know, I run the organization itself, how you get started, how that organization came about to where we are now. And in the meantime, while you're doing that, I'm going to switch to bring, you know, the, the event poster on the screen so the audience can see what's going on. And um, so give us some insight on, on how 
that organization was started and, and, and what um, pushed you to form that organization? Yeah, so um, I've, since I'm, I came to Canada, I started, um, you know, just playing in the multiple different bands because, you know, once you have that music in you, it's kind of hard just to put it, uh, not, not exercise it in it. Right. Mm. So um, I started playing with a whole bunch of different bands from like country, rock, um, poker, everything. Right. Because okay. I, I was pretty, pretty quick at catching on to whatever it was, you know, mm. and these guys were impressed because, I mean, it didn't take me long to <laughs> within a week or two, I was playing with them. Right. right. So, um, so I started doing that. And before long, I was like, really wanting to play our music right because mm -hmm. you know that's still the crave for our local music that we are connected to, to was right. always in me right and mm -hmm. and and then i i started playing with um other reggae bands out here but then i quickly realized that there was not enough outlets uh, platforms that we can actually express ourselves so the music wasn't really going anywhere i would say mm -hmm. right Right. After after uh, going on tour with um, a, a, a singer um, artist, his name is Jakota from um, um, Montreal. Yeah, Jakota from Montreal, and uh, we did a show in Winnipeg at the the Cube, right? Um, Reggae Soka Festival, and then um, we realized quickly that there has to be more that we can offer okay right so mm -hmm. when we did this tour a bunch of stuff start opening up for 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 us the, not that they were huge shows but the fact that i, I started seeing that there, there was such a lack in proper representation right across the board right right and this is why um i started talking to a bunch of my friends about it and i said well you know i want to start this movement Mm -hmm. right and 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 we just i just took it on to myself and started packing a whole bunch of money in it <laughs> and then and bring you know, it to life to, yeah and because no you i am invested in it right it's like i i just kept moving and and doing it like stronger and then reaching out to more people and creating um this platform now i started to talk to so this platform is ira ira exactly okay. And uh, so I reached out to Natalie Waite and um, Wadat Media. Media, those mm -hmm. are two of the, the the main people that I work with right now. Um, they were they're like the former crew, and this yeah. was awesome that I meet these people because they were just as passionate of, about it as I am. Mm -hmm. So they are strong in areas that I am not strong in. Okay. So you know, so that was that 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 created uh, some teamwork. And and, yes. and right. So you're you're so you're better off working as a team to get it done by bringing in some other folks with yes. like mind and like interest. Exactly. And mm -hmm. you know, once 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 you have these sets of people in place with you that is really passionate about you, what you you believe in and your dreams, then right. it becomes easier to, mm -hmm. to tackle mm -hmm. the, 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 the situations. Now right. After a while, it became evident that, I mean, there's something that we got unique right here. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. And um, from there, we just start building and inviting people to join us um, in, in whatever way they can, right? Even just to come and see what we are offering. Right. So yeah. so right now, I see that you have um, a number of artists and groups line up you know the audience can see that on the screen you know the 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 iral virtual party so basically this this festival here is gonna be something virtual because of COVID. i mean i know in 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 america here we um we america is actually open right now so everybody's kind of is, is able to get out and socialize and mingle but i think canada is a little bit slower and for the yes. your concern for your audience and stuff you still want to <laughs> exercise you know that little bit of restraint so you, yes. you 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 move towards doing keeping it virtual just like during the the, the heavy covid uh season so well you know with that said i mean 
I'm going to ask you that before we even jump into the, the, the whole programming of the, of the festival, let me just try and ask you about, you know, a little bit of the challenges that you had going forward in putting this together. You know, you can just share that with us. Yeah. So, um, again, because uh, we the era we're living in, mm -hmm. um, the appreciation for the music is not quite there in the mainstream. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So we had to push really hard or we are, are we are pushing really hard to make this like a number one festival in the area right. simply because um you know in in all those other europe and uh, germany reg internationally reggae is known to be a huge uh, music entity right and right. Uh, we believe that it can be the same here in canada right and uh, and people will come towards it you know um with love and appreciation right right so one of the challenges to to, to bridge that gap right and mm -hmm. um the other one was uh well the main one was financially right, right? because it's it's a big dream right mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it takes a lot of money and due to uh covid we had planned our first event last year right, right. and we paid on a bunch of uh on a bunch of two venues and mm -hmm. you know artists booking and all of that stuff and it didn't happen okay. so we had that money waving in the crowd or in the clouds somewhere out there mm -hmm. and and yeah so we had to regroup again and all this time we were kind of just financing through yard vibes promotion okay it was, um, it was doing this um so now again because it wasn't mainstream the government wasn't really seeing us as you know as uh as, as of yet but mm -hmm. luckily just of, of recently canadian um heritage you know they are the first one who came on board and started giving us the first section of support right just right. to find out how good we'll we'll do so last year we did our our first virtual event okay. which was um, in september and we thought well you know let's do another one because we want to remain relevant to our viewers okay right? and to our community and in COVID, this is all we can do right 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 so, okay yeah so so when you when you when you outline the fact that you have government involvement so are you a non-profit organization or a for-profit organization yeah non-profit we are a non-profit and uh it it helps helps us greatly because now you know the government can be involved in what we're doing because we are about community building and okay. and, and, and actually developing the artists mm -hmm. right and the musicians in the business Okay. Right? Okay. And then this just makes perfect sense for us to be a non-profit organization. All right. So with that organization, you know, is 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 IRL looking to provide um any form of support and contribution back into the uh, the society and the community and and for the those um individuals, especially the youngsters who are not as fortunate to be able to be exposed or be able to be a part of music that you know of which they would like to be and, and, and get involved in the culture uh, are you set up to to do that yes i'm glad you you, you asked that question because this is what iral is about okay the, the under the under representative under representative mm -hmm. Right, okay. so that's what we're gonna um, that community. So right? you're looking at the underserved in terms of for the reggae yeah. music and in in your diaspora right there. Exactly. Mm. And um, so we're looking forward to working with our our, our, our community people, and and helping them to to reach the levels that they normally won't wouldn't have on their right. own. And because mm -hmm. I can see that there's a huge gap right in, mm -hmm. in 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 these communities and you know they just have talented people flowing all over but they go nowhere because nobody is there to actually okay. guide them through this process right mm -hmm. and it's very frustrating if you have to go it alone okay all right so so let's go to the explosive piece of this you now which is you know the primary thing and we, we're looking at on the screen here iral virtual party 
man that is you that is huge for you to get it there so tell us now a little bit about this virtual party this festival the artist lineup the, the the bands and the people involved tune in on that day and all your friends your family grandma grandpa everybody can uh tune in and and, and watch watch the virtual party right um festival uh, definitely we have artists like um balo dr henry these are african guys from okay. Winnipeg, that's mm -hmm. been performing around the the, the 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 Winnipeg areas, right? And maybe lots of people don't know them, but they're very very talented artists, right? And 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 bands. And we've got uh, De La Rose and a bunch of other Latin performers. Mm -hmm. uh, there will be dancers. Papa Mambo is Papa Mambo Trio is a well seasoned band that been playing Latin music here. So you're gonna get a real awesome mix of uh culture right, right. here uh -huh. it's like you know iral is a melting pot for these culture okay, and then you okay. Have on the, the reggae side if i might i might miss a few of them you know but um as we go along it's dancers as well as you can read on there um yard is is my favorite band on this uh poster mm. and because they have ties to me that you know uh, very well, close. Tell us a little about the ties. Let us hear it. <laughs> well, the Yardis is actually my family band. Oh my gosh! Uh, oh man. no, I see you. No, I see what's happening. So you, 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 you're spreading this throughout the, the younger generation, so they can follow in your footsteps and carry yeah, on this yeah. tradition. Yes, wonderful. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So the, the Yardis are are my family band. We have uh -huh. uh, a t well a total of, of eight members in it. There's two that is um person that is um friend uh is the wife included as part of the eight members yes, or she's just uh, or she's just on the financial side making sure the money the no, money is no, well man. spent she's a singer man she's a singer oh okay man. all right she's okay then, then, then what's her name and big up no man what, 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 what's up it's, it's carol my wife and ah. she's she's an awesome singer a, a singer and she is very key to the the, the band as well um as a, as one of the the leading factors here okay and we've, we've nice, got man. we've got um jada also is 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 my daughter cool. right so old is jada jada, jada sing also jada is 19 jada actually has is a singer songwriter musician what she has a song out now that uh -huh. is called when you lie you should check it out it's it's pretty nice and okay she's, a, she's, she's, she's awesome not because it's my kid, but hey, right, right. Yeah, look out for her because she has, honestly, she has a bunch of songs lined up. Right. right? Uh -huh. She'll be releasing in the near future, you know, so okay. you got to keep a high on her because she she's going to be some somebody to watch like within the next year. Okay. Right? Okay. My, my son's also, uh, Justin is the bass player. He's 12, going on 13. Mm -hmm. actually, well, actually, he's 13. Um, I got an 11 year old son that is playing the drums right now. What? And, um, yeah, so they're, they're young, but, but don't be fooled. Their music is, is quite, <laughs> quite there. I okay. Say. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. So big up, big up to IRL virtual face, the international reggae art, international reggae, Afro Latin and music festival coming to you live and living colors on July 10th, 730 um eastern standard time so put it on your calendar and tune in join us for this heavy heavy heater um coming out of canada that mr neville hamilton himself live here with us in our virtual studio and our platform black history entertainment black history radio where we promote the arts in the black community and the diaspora all over the world